Hi guys, welcome back to the Funky Evolution Party. I'm Alice Green. Uh, so I just wanted to touch base with everybody. Um, something that's seriously hindering the progress of our entire society and evolution is blackmail. Um, and the reason I want to talk to you guys about this today is number one, here in my lovely bird feeder, um, far down in the basement, I had a blackbird come and visit me, um, which is quite rare. It's now an addition to a magpie, a couple of jaybirds, a great tit, and now a blackbird. Um, but with everything that's been going on, I believe it's something that we need to talk about, which is black male. Now, I get that as humans, no one is infallible. We all do things that we regret or that could harm others. And sometimes we don't want to admit it, so we're forever trying to cover our tracks a lie with another lie with another lie and actually it just turns into more criminal behavior so i have a massive thing out there whoever is currently being blackmailed i would take ownership and responsibility of your actions now um, otherwise all you're actually doing is feeding this wheel of criminal behavior um, there's one thing to be blackmailed for something that you've done whether it be money laundering whether it, there's so much that's been happening that's one thing, but then what happens when you now add genocide and mass murder and everything else to it? Actually, you become a double criminal. I would rather be a single criminal on, okay, I did something wrong. Actually, they drugged me and made me do X, Y, and Z versus, oh, you're blackmailing me. Let me keep hiding what I've done because at the end of the day, the more you hide, the more you actually expose yourself and that's something that people really need to understand is that everything will come out in the end. So it's best to go, hey, I fucked up. Um, hold your hand up, take ownership and responsibility for your actions, because that is the biggest problem that we're facing right now. Everyone's living in fear. Everyone's being bullied or blackmailed in some way, shape, form or another. And I'm gonna revert back to number one, the ICJ. It's impossible that a single judge who knows all the evidence and is there to assess it says oh no there's nothing wrong here actually you should say there was nothing wrong here but there might be something wrong here and, and have a valid backing to something rather than no 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 where's my money or don't tell anyone i did that versus do you know what Pfft, i did that and i'd rather take ownership and maybe go to prison for five years than go to prison for the rest of my life and that is the reality that we're facing because at the end of the day, you're all going down. I don't care. Um, I am pretty adamant that if we don't get the law to be the new law, then society will completely fall apart. Why should I follow the law if our leaders will not? It is about following the leaders. And when they're saying, we don't care about the judgment made by the courts, they're not lawyers. These are business people. Actually, they're like used car salesman to some extent. Oh, push it, push it, it's great, it's great. It's just gonna blow up on you halfway down the road or fall to bits. Well, they're laughing with their personal interests. We will not evolve as a society if we are consistently focusing on people's self-interest that, oh, we are, you know, this is what the public think. No, actually we've got people, 500,000 people protesting in the streets all across the world saying, stop. And you're saying you're representing us? No, you're not. You know, trafficking children, you're not representing us. Trafficking drugs, you're not representing us. Blowing up other countries, you're not representing us. What represents us is a civilized society who is now educated enough to understand that the consequences of war do not help anybody except for the people that want to steal. Land, natural resources, all of it. I'm sorry. This is the time that we all take a stand and say no. We can't continue on this path. If you have done something wrong, take ownership because all you're doing is becoming more and more of a criminal the more you hide things. So again, going back to when I posted about ISIS and all the drugs, the next day they went and bombed Yemen. I also posted that the aid trucks that are apparently going in through Israel who hate Palestinians, only AIDS allowed in there, and they're making bombs. 
and I'm pretty sure they're contaminating food and I'm pretty sure they're doing something pretty dodgy there. The next day, five countries are withholding, now more on the list. Why? Because a worker who did not use the school or use the hospital as a base, but were just working there and in their free time, like I, you know, make beads or something, that's what they were doing for their country. It, there's a very difference between your job and what you do outside of work. And this is where people need to get a grip on reality. You're going to defund an entire organization that helps people, not just in Palestine, but in Syria and in Lebanon and everywhere else, because they are the barrier that they don't want there anymore. You know, oh, 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 we can't contaminate their food. Oh, oh, they're going to get education. Oh, 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 we don't want them back. So the best way is to completely discredit others when actually the people that are discrediting are the ones who are actually causing the trouble. Now, US, attack Iran, attack Iran. Iran's got nothing to do with anything. They provide, like you all, who refuse to stop selling arms after a genocide has been clearly marked. Well, oh no, well, we're not going to stop selling arms to stop the genocide. We're going to continue selling arms. We're going to defund the humanitarian aid. Think about how ridiculous that sounds. Really ridiculous. Um, you're all supposed to be educated world leaders. From where I'm sitting, it's not the case. You know, um, I don't even know how to articulate myself. Um, not to say that I've been incited by stupidity or maybe gaslighted by stupidity. I, it, I don't buy it and no one else should buy it. What we need to start buying into is looking at facts. You know, where are the facts? Why is this information only come out the day um, after ICJ or the day after I posted that food was being contaminated? Let's think about these things. Let's look at these leaders and what they're actually trying to hide and why with absolutely tunnel vision, they refuse to accept any other <laughs> educated opinion, particularly from judges who know the law. David Cameron, I'm not a lawyer. I, I don't know yet when the actual lawyers and judges say this is genocide. Oh, what do they know? And this is why I spend my time building gardens. If I really struggle to deal with the psychology of me, me, mine, mine, mine. I will screw anyone over. I will rob the little old lady next door. I will kill every child. Even premature babies are terrorists. Terrorists are created because you are blowing up their homes. Everyone wants to seek revenge. The point is to stop feeding this need for a vengeance and revenge. And that only comes by looking at facts, understanding why things are happening. Not, this is not a, you know, this, it's not isolated. October 7th was not isolated. And to say it's the biggest Holocaust since the Holocaust, 600 and something people died. More people die in an earthquake. We're going from 600 people to 6 million. That's pretty minimal in terms of the greatest thing that's ever happened. And realistically, detaching emotions from fact. Sure, you're angry. Sure, you're upset. But like I told my five-year-olds, there are ways to deal with anger. It's not by taking it out on others. It's not by attacking you. It's not by blaming you. It's not by defunding you. It's by looking at how we can... Okay, you're allowed to be upset. Everyone has these emotions. How do we deal with them? And I think that by applying the law and making sure everybody follows the law, because at this point, there are a lot of people that need to be arrested. And the world will only change when we take ownership and responsibility for our actions. You may have done something dodgy in the past. Don't keep doing dodgy things to cover up your tracks because at the end of the day, it's gonna end up worse for you. What could be five years? Could end up 50 years in prison. So please like, share and get the message out there.